Ho ho ho, it's me. So sweet, little mystery. So I've opened it and got some sort of clothing. Whoa, mysterious box, I want to get close to you. Hiya, welcome to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas 2017. My name's Gemma and today we're going to be opening up a mystery box that I've bought. Didn't want to spend any more than that. Don't have a clue what's in it. Um, bit worried that all my money is going to be wasted, but it's for a video, isn't it? Everyone seems to be doing these videos on YouTube and getting like a load of junk in the box. Um, I saw Graveyard Girl Bunny opening one for like nine hundred pounds or something like that, and she got like a load of dirty old tat in there, like that was supposed to be from the nineties. Um, hopefully I'll have a bit of less, better luck. I haven't spent that much money, so here it goes, nothing. Let's cover up my address. Um, it's, come, it's come quite well packaged really. Big brown box. So, let's open it. I'm a bit worried actually. When Graveyard Girl, I haven't really what I've watched a couple of these videos. When Graveyard Girl oh, opened her video, opened her box, um, there was like what she thought was like cockroaches or bug droppings or something. And then somebody else told me one where they opened it and there was like some poo. There's no, it doesn't smell. Right, I've just opened it. It looks like there's a bit of material, like some item of clothing in here. It doesn't smell horrible though. It just smells like cardboard box. Okay. So I've opened it and got some sort of clothing. Hang on, I'll try and get it so you can see it. I'm a bit worried though. Oh. Okay, so there's this looks like a scarf, and then oh. everything else is wrapped up in tissue paper. So I'm like, Ooh. I don't know, I don't know if it's something that smells, I think it's just the smell of paper and cardboard I don't like. Um, let's look at this scarf. bad actually. Smell, doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> Seems like it's new. It's quite a nice design. There's no tags on it. Well, there is a label. Betty Jackson Black. That's a design to make isn't it? Betty Jackson Black. I mean, really, I don't know if it's my style of things. It'd be quite nice for the winter. Probably might give this to my mum or sell it on eBay. Or something like that. You could sell them back on eBay, couldn't you, I thought. If you didn't... Uh, you could even make your own mystery box, I suppose. Or just sell them separately, depending. Yeah, that's okay. It's Betty Jackson. It's quite big, isn't it? It's quite a long scarf. I can't even fold it back up. It's so long. Ah. Okay, let's just put it over there for now. So, there's a little tin with a flower on. Not sure what that... And I know what's, there's some jewellery item in it because the lid sort of fell off. Oh, this is nice. It's 
like a moonstone necklace. You see that? Nice. Silver necklace. It's on a card, so it could be new. It's not tarnished or anything like that. Don't think it's silver. Like sterling silver. Can't find a hallmark on it, but it is quite pretty. And there's another little jewellery item here. Oh, it matches. Uh, that's like a bracelet and that's got moonstones on it as well so they're quite nice aren't they don't know if they're new they don't look uh, old or anything just pop all that back in no creepy crawlies in this box anyway. But all these things here are just like wrapped up in tissue. That's like a load of tissue. Now somebody's giving me some sweets, some refreshers, and some love hearts. <laughs> nice of them. This is. Oh, it's a little wallet and it's new, it's got a tag on, it's got some gold stars, like a leather wallet. It's from Red Herring, which I believe they sell in, in Debenhams. It's like a card wallet, so you've got like room for your cards, there's no zip up for coins, so that'd be quite handy. That was £10, it says on the label. £10. That's new, so that's good. A good one. God knows what this is. They've wrapped it up in tissue paper. They've tried to make it into a little bag. More tissue paper. Oh! More jewellery, big earrings, well they're Michael Kors earrings apparently, they're quite, they're nice, I'm saying they're nice now because I've just discovered they're Michael Kors, they're like big, big diamante like a sort of rose gold colour the big earring back there they are for pierced ears so I'm not going to try them on of course until I've sterilised them before I put them in my ears they're quite nice they're quite heavy um, and I know they're Michael Kors because it says on the like God knows whether my camera is going to pick that up Got Michael Kors on it. So they must have been expensive. If they're real, genuine, they're quite expensive. Oh. A little Clinique uh, eyeshadow. Not sure if it doesn't, maybe it's not been used. Can't see any brush strokes in the pans. This looks like it was a gift with purchase. Pink chocolate quad. They're nice colours though, aren't they? Chocolatey and pinks. So that'll be useful. So, some more little mini love hearts. I'm not gonna swatch that and eat one in case I give it away. Another something wrapped up. Oh, the yellow. Oh. oh, that's really cute. This is new as well. It's got a little tag. Kitten travel card, one size. Nine pounds. And it's like a little tiny cat thinking about a fish. 
It's Montgomery, whatever brand that is. Proudly supports Marine Conservation Society. And this was £9. See inside that. Similar to the other one I got. It's like a little card holder thing. This is quite heavy. Don't know what on earth this is. Lad Ladival sun protection for kids. Advanced infrared A protection system protects against four times more of the sun's rays, protects against UVA, UVB plus infrared A rays. For children's delicate skin and proven to be suitable for skin with eczema. Oh, that's good. Immediate protection, extra water resistant, and it's SPF 50. And they're giving me two of those, the same. And I suppose. Oh, it's like a big. It's quite good really if you had children, you were going on holiday abroad. I haven't got children, I'm not going on holiday abroad. And it's December, but oh well. They're new, there's two of them. Sun cream is quite dear. More love hearts. I love love hearts, they must have known. Oh, this works. This works sleep kits. Two mini solutions for a better night's sleep. Award winning brand, this works, and Crown Plaza joined together to launch this sleep. So they're like. They're like little mini sprays, pillow spray, pillow spray, and a little aromatherapy like ball for your pulse points get to sleep. I am always struggling with sleep so these are going to come in handy. Have some samples. Clinique. Super moisture makeup. Super moisture makeup that really won't suit me or even better makeup I think that one will be okay. But they're in the colours 5 neutral, 6 neutral. Might be a bit dark. But you can try them out. There's those. Looks like they've got those out of magazines. As you can see where they've torn them off the pages there. But there's just all of this horrible stuff that like feels really horrible. Like, I don't know, skin or something. I don't know what that is. One last thing in the box. I don't know why, but the box is making me feel sick. There's nothing horrible in it, just the thought of what I could have opened. Oh, a brand new bottle of perfume, a uh, Estee Lauder Youth Dew. This is a really, you could put this in a 90s box because this Youth Dew was like a really popular perfume of the 90s, I remember. Eau de Perf Parfum spray, and that's brand new, and it is. 67 mils, it's a funny, funny mils, normally like 50 mils or 30 mils, isn't it? 67 mils. Hey, I'm, cause I know I'll be able to find somebody to give this to for Christmas. So a lot of these things will make really good Christmas presents, actually. Spe like the two little purses, this, the Michael Court, well, I might keep them myself, or um, you could give them to somebody, that would make a really nice present. And the little jewellery. I'm sure my gran would love that jewellery actually, it looks like something that she would love. She loves necklaces and bracelets, so that would make a really good present for her. Mum could have the scarf and the perfume. I've already bought them presents, but you know, if I hadn't and you were struggling, this would like be really... They could have the presents as extra actually, so you could either 
none of it, to be honest, is like I would go crazy for. None of it seems to be really tailored for me, but of course it's a mystery box. But I can see these items are really, you know, they're quite good quality items. I don't think I've wasted my money. Um, and I think they're going to make really like awesome presents for people. And with it being Christmas coming up, we could save them for people's birthdays. I mean, all of these little things are nice. I might use this Clinique palette myself. And I'll eat the sweets. <laughs> but um, I think I might give these little purses away for Christmas prep, like extra stocking fillers. And the jewellery, like I said, I'm sure my gran would really love that as a present for Christmas. I'll use these sleep kits and like I said I'll eat the sweet any day. Uh, this this is the I don't know what to do with these. Where's my phone? I'm gonna see how much that is. Oh it's twenty pounds in boots. Twenty pounds and I got two of those. So that's forty pounds already. Forty pounds and then like £60 with the wallets. This, how much is you see? The youth Jew is 24, 19, 20, about £24. Yeah. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 pounds. Eighty pounds of those items, and then you're not counting the Betty Jackson scarf and the jewellery and the little clinic, clinic thing. So I really think I've got quite a good bargain. I would probably say, all in all, this box is probably worth, you know, it's worth at least eighty pounds, isn't it? With that, we know what those things are. Um, we're just not sure whether these, you know, this is probably this feels like a really nice, you know, luxury scarf as well. So I don't think I've done badly with my mystery box. I think I've done quite well with it. I'm quite pleased. And like I said, these these will make like awesome gifts for everybody. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any poo, which is a added bonus. And I didn't get any dead ink. Not that I know of. I haven't really rummaged around in all that tissue paper too much. I didn't get any dead in insects or anything like that. So I think this has been a really super fun video. Hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got inside my mystery box. And I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. I'm really enjoying watching everybody's Christmas videos. I've subscribed to loads of people's channels to um, watch their vid videos and get ideas for my own as well. Um, I'm off out now. I'm going to have some... Pancakes, I think. Going into town to have some pancakes with my friend. It's her birthday, Thursday the 7th of December. Not sure what day this video will be uploaded, but it's her birthday this week and coming up Thursday. Um, and then it's my birthday the next Thursday on the 14th. So we're trying to do loads of super fun things. We're having a birthday month. Um, so today we're going for pancakes, I think, and maybe a Chinese buffet as well. We're going into into town. Anyway, I hope you're going to have a super lovely day. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever risky, if you've risked it for a chocolate biscuit and bought a mystery box off eBay. What did you get inside yours? Send me the link to your video. I'd really like to see it. Okay, don't forget to like and like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers by Christmas. Okay then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.